Hi, this is Jessa. Hi, this is Hannah Day. Um, I just used a call from you. Yes, this is Jessa from iPad Rehab with your iPhone SE. And I, um, yes. I know that I told you that it was like really low chance of recovery. And I remember, mm -hmm. I remember sending the estimate to you guys um, last week when I was the one that was in charge of doing estimates and, and phone stuff. Um, but I had a quick question for you. Um, I wanted to see if maybe you would be up for a quick live stream on YouTube where um, if you're at a computer, you could click over and I could actually show you what the inside of this phone looks like. Is that something that you could do maybe? Possibly. It's worth a shot. Um, our internet is sometimes really slow. Um, Okay, well, give it, give so it a this shot. this is my house. Okay. Um, I was going to say, this is my house phone. Is it like a um, URL that I can go to, or do you want me to give you the cell phone number? Well, how about this? There? I'm really trying out a different idea that I that is kind of a little sketchy, but I haven't, I, I wanted, I thought you were the right candidate. I'm asking you if you would okay. mind being on a YouTube live stream because I want to click start recording when I tell you that I got the pictures from your phone. So that, oh my word. so that we can kind of, you know, this is like so, so much the best part of my job is being able to make this call. So your phone was tough. I came in today because I, I remembered your camping trip story and that you were, you know, so, you seemed to be so worried about it. And I really thought that, yeah. you know, I just kind of wanted to get you an answer before I went on vacation. And so I, um, you know, opened up your phone and it was really, really corroded inside. You'd be surprised. I wanted to kind of, you know, show you a, a picture of the inside of it. I'll put that in your ticket. And, you know, I have it on YouTube right now. Your phone is right now boot it up i can see your your lock screen and i can see that you have let me type this in um let me look this up real quick uh um you had a lot of a lot of corrosion but the thing that kind of really Here's your little kids. If you could click over on the computer to iPad Rehab live stream, you can see four little sweeties on the lock screen. So, you know, this is, this is, you know, I can see you've got like 3,000 pictures on there, mama. And they're, yeah, they look, they look I, just I, like I, my photo stream on my phone with all of those little moments that I call the magic of ordinary days. You know, the, um, yeah kids playing and stuff like that so it's just it brings us yeah. so much oh. joy to be able to recover these for you so oh my word i can't tell you how thankful i am um, i yeah, yeah it's such a great feeling for both of us so i heard so your wow. story is that you went on a camping trip and it started raining and your phone was in the tent and then by the time you got to it it was in a puddle of water and then you yeah you, the and then what? Yeah. Yeah, so I was actually right by the tent but was busy grabbing kids and grabbing things that were blowing away and shoving everything in our van. And then by the time that it was like, oh, man, my phone is in the tent, it was in a puddle of water and not not doing much. So yeah. I really didn't think there was much hope and it just kind of grieved that. I'm just thankful I had my babies, even if I had lost all those memories, but I just, <laughs> I yeah. can't tell you how thankful I am. Yes. Well, I know how meaningful those pictures are, and I know what it feels like to just kind of, you know, intend to back them up and intend to back them up or think that, you know, it'll be right. fine. Um, uh, right. And, and that, and then it's too late, you know. I totally know that feeling, and... Um, 
I always so I I know it's kind of weird to just kind of cold call you and say hey we're we're on YouTube but um, we do a lot of data recovery and a lot of times uh, fo other microsatters see me fixing phones and they see me with a multimeter making measurements and taking chips off and um, and we never really get to do that kind of like final moment when the phone comes back to life so this one. I'll, if, if this this will eventually become a video that you could when you do have you know when you get to a place with better internet click over and look um, but the big clue on your phone was your screen so I'm really glad that you included this original screen because it has a burn mark on it and that burn mark is okay. from the logic board where the logic board got really really hot and so even though okay. that spot didn't have any corrosive damage that I could see under the microscope, that was really the ticket to this to this uh, repair. So that chip wow. was actually looked totally fine on the logic board, but because it matched where I could see this burn mark, I knew that it had been the thing that got really hot. And I changed that chip on your logic board, and then the phone went from dead to alive when I put it with the with the yes. known good housing and the you know, the parts they all they did kind of get a lot of you know uh, burned up damage but the phone does boot right. I was able to pull a full iTunes backup for you and we got 3,000 pictures and videos which I think is what you're looking for it looks oh, like the mom heart. it looks like the mom stuff and we'll be able to you know parse out the rest of your data so that you'll get all that back and Yay, thank you so much. I know that from the description of you, you know, trying to plug it in and um, you'll, you'll, you know, the, when a phone is in rice, it's the same as kind of just being on a table, it'll dry out, but it looks like a salt shaker in there. Right. So um, when you put electricity through that with a charger, that can really right. make a, you know, literally a fire. <laughs> like I think there was like a little bit of flame right. at some point. So, um, <sighs> So we were able, I, so I initially, I know when I wrote your estimate that you had described that it was for, that it was recognized by iTunes in DFU mode or recovery mode and it was prompting you to restore. Right. And usually right. when a phone gets to that point, it's hard to uh, come back from that. It's usually the case that, you know, for example, if you had a computer where the problem is that the cord kept falling out of the socket at your house, you know, the, the computer cord just right. fell out of the socket and the whole thing would turn off. If that was the original problem, if you let it be like that for long enough, usually it'll end up put falling out when it's trying to do a write operation to the hard drive and then you'll end up with a corrupted disk. Even if you fix the socket problem, the disk is already corrupted. So that's why I thought that I was thought that you had a good chance of not being recoverable. So this one was a pretty good recovery for us, you know, and I know that you were really, really worried about your data. It's important pictures. And I thought that it kind of had a low chance. So this one we pulled back from the brink and I wanted to share that news with you before I go on vacation. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, and I just wanted to say, regardless of the outcome of this, I've just been so, so impressed with um, my experience with you guys, um, just your quick responses and the personal touch that you guys have put on everything, so no matter what the outcome had been, know that you guys have ranked very high in my book, and I will definitely be passing out your information. Okay, fantastic. Oh, good, so you're not going to be mad at me for putting you on live stream so that my micro-soldering guys can can see there's lots of comments on there about like yay great news thank you for this dream this is great you know fantastic so it's just a feel-good story for everybody thank you so much hannah for taking my call and letting me record this for a uh, live stream you'll be able to go back and you can see your your phone uh booting up as soon as we click off this will turn into a video on the ipad rehab youtube channel that you can check out and share with your friends i'm gonna pass this phone off to my extraction team because i am out of here to you guess what go on a camping trip so i'm about to go i'm about to head down to my dad's house in maryland with my four kids and we're going camping so Yay, have a wonderful trip. <laughs> i will and i will keep my phone not you know i don't know i'll, I'll try not to let it yes. drop in the bank or something like that <laughs> all right hannah thanks so much well, thank it's great so news so and i just wanted to share that and have a fantastic thank day you. we'll be in touch on your ticket
All right. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Yay! I thought that would be fun, and I was glad that she was up for that. So, for you guys, the micro soldering community, uh, this one was really tough. This was an iPhone SE, and I'll show it to you uh, really quickly. Where her story is that it had, you know, conventional water damage. Uh, she put it on a charger, and then it started having like kind of glitchy screen, then no touch, and then it started auto booting to the DF to DFU mode, which I thought was going to likely be some battery data line corruption, but that turned out not to be the case. So let's see if we can take a quick look and then we'll be out of here. Let's see, where is this? So this is Hannah's phone. Let me just get rid of that entirely. And it had, before ultrasonic cleaning, you can see the corrosion that was around here. This just looked covered with, with salt. So this was really kind of the worst area, which is right by the battery. But on the SE, unlike the 5S, the data side of the battery is actually over here. So this one was lucky. Had that been a 5S, I think this would have been battery data corruption. So you can see all of that really, really nasty looking caps there that look pretty bad in that spot we can see some kind of you know missing dude here and some this looked totally covered in salt look how bad that filter looks down here at the very bottom edge of the phone that's on the outside of the shield under the shields didn't look too bad around baseband and then up here around the top of the phone under the cpu shield looked great so there was nothing really going on here um, we've got a little bit of water up in the top of the phone. We see a little bit of corrosion here by the uh, camera connector and a little bit over here at the very tip top of the phone. Then if we flip it over, I removed this shield. You can see some frank rust. So there was a lot of water here. There's some frank rust around, but the uh, power management chip is underfilled in the SE. So that's generally uh, keeps it safe. And then over here, this was the problem. This was actually TriStar preventing this phone from booting. And look, there's no water here. And so I wouldn't have suspected TriStar right off the bat because TriStar is an electrical failure, not water damage. This is underfilled. Water can't get here. Water never was there. So this one would have trolled me for a long time if not for the clue of the screen. So if we look at how that screen fits onto the logic board if we kind of look at it like this how the screen kind of fits on there we can see see that big black chip the burn mark is right there and that really corresponds to tristar overheating so tristar changing tristar on an se is not something that you want to do unless you have a really good reason because it's not the typical fault for an se se tristars are a really rare 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 failure the common fault is the battery um, battery data uh, filter getting knocked off the board but if you do have to change tristar do it like i did here on the preheater i used an iron to take off the chip and then you have to clean out all that underfill, give it a smooth dance floor, and get the new chip on there without simultaneously bothering the adjacent Tigris. Usually it makes sense if it's to repair the phone to do them both together as a set. That way you won't be overheating Tigris. And you got to be careful because here's your memory chip right there, and you are in really, really tight clearance to that memory chip. And we can kind of look down, and there was no water in this um, section of the phone and then a little bit here at the baseband power chip which I thought might be the problem going on here so initial presentation is that the phone on DC power supply was a kind of uh, typical just a typical no power phone that was boot looping and then when I put it uh, when I put it with a, a dock and a screen it auto booted to recovery mode and you know then i i tried to kick it out of that i changed tristar and then with known good parts i was able to boot into the ios 
shoo, got the data, and I was really happy with that. When I go back, after I've taken the data, when I go back and I start adding back these um, parts that, that are the native, the native parts, you can really see the native, here, let's show you guys, the native dock connector is really bad. Look at where the home button connects on the native dock connector. Look, look at that corrosion that's right there. And if you look at this, like Hannah, if you watch this video later, looking at this, this is, this is the charge port, the inside of the charge port on your phone. Here's the charge port. This is a connector for your home button inside the phone. You know, that looks really sketchy. Like, gee, let's not connect it to electricity. So this is what rice does, which is kind of nothing. <laughs> it just um, makes your phone, makes you tempted to plug it in. And that's generally not a good idea. All righty, and then this housing, we can kind of look around. There's a couple other spots of water. Um, but because that home button section is so degraded, what would happen is that the, um, what would happen is that the phone would, would be prompted to go to recovery because it thinks the home button is pressed. And so that was kind of what was making it auto boot to recovery. Not that it actually had software corruption. So it was actually a hardware defect that was doing that. All right, let me check in with chat and see. Have a nice vacation, Jessa. A bunch of people are uh, wanting to re re recover, uh, recover data. Uh, Samsung questions. I love my SE best one I've ever had. Yes. Uh, YouTube never notified me of the live stream. Sorry about that. Alrighty, and now I am going to get out of here and I'm going to go camping with my four kids down at my dad's house on the eastern shore of Maryland. Super excited about that. And I will catch up with you guys next time.